Welcome back to Ellie Scrubs In. You're watching part two of our multi-part surgical instrument guide, where we break down the names, uses, and critical tips for the most important tools in open general surgery. If you joined us for part one, you've already met 10 core instruments. Today, we'll introduce 10 more that are just as vital. Whether you're prepping for your first OR case or you've already scrubbed in a few times, this is your go-to crash course. Let's scrub in. DeBakey forceps. DeBakey forceps are a surgical staple, known for their fine atraumatic ridges. They're designed for handling soft tissue without crushing. You'll use them when working around vessels, bowel, or anything delicate. Their interdigitating pattern grips securely, but won't tear fragile tissue. These forceps come in various lengths and are used from superficial dissections all the way down to deep pelvic work. When a surgeon asks for pickups during vascular or bowel dissection, they mean debakies. Pearl. Use them to grasp vessels or bowel loops safely without risking damage. Pitfall. Don't try to pick up skin or fascia. The grip isn't strong enough and you'll just frustrate yourself. Cocker clamp. This clamp is easy to recognize by its interlocking teeth at the tip. The cocker provides a powerful grip on tough tissues perfect for fascia, ligaments, or stubborn bleeding vessels. It's commonly used during abdominal wall closures or in trauma cases to clamp pedicles. You'll see them used in pairs to provide counter-traction or to pull up thick tissues during resection. They're the go-to when slip-resistant grip is non-negotiable. Pearl. Cocker clamps are ideal when fascia needs to be controlled or bleeding must be stopped fast. Pitfall. Those teeth can do serious damage Never use them on bowel, vessels, or nerves. Backhouse Towel Clamp Despite the simple job description, towel clamps are absolutely essential. The backhouse style features two sharp tips that curve inward and lock like a pair of fangs. They're used to secure drapes to the patient and stabilize the sterile field. Outside of draping, you may also see them anchoring suction tubing, securing leads, or stabilizing skin for minor procedures. They're like the surgical equivalent of a clothespin with bite. Pearl. Always place towel clamps after prepping. They pierce the skin and must remain sterile. Pitfall. Be careful when removing. They can tear skin if twisted or pulled at an angle. Yankauer Suction Tip. A true workhorse, the Yankauer is the standard suction device in general surgery. Its rigid plastic design and bulbous head allow for effective field suction without sucking in surrounding tissue. It's excellent for abdominal and orthopedic cases where space is broad and bleeding is expected. Side holes near the tip prevent tissue from getting lodged, and it can handle irrigation fluid, blood, and even debris like bone chips or clots. The Yankauer suction tip is attached to a suction line connected to a vacuum canister. Suction begins when you occlude the small hole, or control port, on top of the handle with your thumb. This creates a closed system, allowing negative pressure to draw fluid through the tip. Releasing your thumb stops the suction instantly, giving you precise control during procedures. Pearl. Use it to maintain a clean field while retracting or exploring. Pitfall. Don't use it for precise suction near vessels. The tip is too blunt and lacks fine control. Bozeman forceps. Originally a gynecologic tool, Bozeman forceps have earned their place in general surgery. Their long curved profile makes them perfect for placing packing deep into the pelvis or posterior cavities, especially when fingers won't fit. You'll also find them useful for guiding surgical drains into position, grasping sponges, or maneuvering structures gently within deep spaces. Pearl. Great for maintaining sterility when you need to reach deep without contaminating the field. Pitfall. Don't rely on them to clamp tissue. They're designed for placement, not pressure. Little Retractor Think of the Little Retractor as your go-to for shallow exposures. With a small handle and a single blunt blade, it's excellent for procedures involving skin flaps, small vascular incisions, or neck dissections. Surgeons appreciate its compact shape when working through limited incisions. It exposes without blocking the field or taking up valuable real estate. Pearl Perfect for elevating platysma in thyroid cases or retracting soft tissue in superficial procedures. Pitfall. Don't expect it to move fascia or muscle. It's made for skin and subcutaneous work. White Liner Retractor. 
The white liner is a self-retaining retractor with outward curving prongs and a ratcheting mechanism. It's a favorite for hernia repairs, breast surgery, and anywhere you need consistent exposure without tying up an assistant. Available in blunt or sharp tip versions, it works best when tissues can tolerate mild tension. Pearl, a steady, reliable option that holds the field open for long cases. Pitfall, don't overstretch. Excessive pressure can cause nerve damage or tearing. Cryl forceps. Cryl forceps are curved or straight hemostatic clamps used for clamping smaller blood vessels and for blunt dissection in soft tissue. They're shorter than Kelly clamps, but have full-length serrations along the jaws, offering consistent grip throughout. You'll use them early in dissection to tease apart connective tissue planes or to clamp vessels before ligation. Pearl. Great for spreading soft tissue and isolating vessels in controlled steps. Pitfall. They're not strong enough for pedicles or thick fascia. Use them for finesse, not force. Monopolar cautery. Monopolar cautery, almost always called the bovi, is one of the most frequently used energy devices in general surgery. It delivers high-frequency electrical current through a pencil-shaped handpiece to cut or coagulate tissue. The current travels from the tip of the device through the patient's body and exits via a grounding pad. That's what makes it monopolar. The tip can be fitted with different electrodes, like a sharp needle for precise cutting or a flat blade for broader dissection. There are typically two modes, cut mode, which delivers a continuous wave for tissue division, and coag mode, which delivers pulsed energy to stop bleeding. The foot pedal or hand switch lets the surgeon control activation with precision. Monopolar cautery is used for everything from skin incision to dividing peritoneum, controlling oozing, or dissecting through fibrous tissue planes. You'll hear the telltale buzz in almost every open surgery. Always double check the grounding pad placement. If it's not in full contact with the patient's skin, current can exit in unpredictable and dangerous ways. Pearl. Keep the tip clean. Eschar buildup reduces effectiveness and can lead to unintended arcing or thermal injury. Pitfall. Never activate the cautery near metal instruments or when it's in contact with bowel or vascular structures. It can cause deep, hidden burns or perforation. Mayo Hagar Needle Driver The Mayo Hagar Needle Driver is the heavyweight champion of needle holders. With sturdy, cross-serrated jaws and a ratcheting handle, it's built to drive larger needles through fascia and body wall, making it the go-to for abdominal closures. It's balanced for efficient handling and often paired with zero or two O sutures on CT or taper needles. To properly hold a needle holder, insert your thumb and ring finger into the instrument's rings while your middle and index fingers rest on the outside of the ring and along the shank, respectively, for control and stabilization. Keep your wrist neutral and your grip relaxed but firm. This allows precise handling without fatigue. The needle should be grasped approximately two-thirds of the way back from the tip, perpendicular to the instrument. Avoid choking up too close to the needle tip, as this reduces control and may cause bending. Always lock and unlock the ratchet deliberately. Never force it open sideways, which can damage the instrument over time. Pearl. Excellent for throwing deep sutures during closure. Pitfall. Avoid using with delicate needles. It can warp the curvature or snap them altogether. That wraps up part two of our surgical instrument guide. We've now covered 20 essential tools in detail, helping you go from name memorization to real understanding of function and context. Be sure to check out part three, where we explore another 10 general surgery instruments, including tools for soft tissue handling, deep exposure, and more advanced dissection. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching Ellie Scrubs In. See you next time in the OR.